What is Nephilim? Nephilim is a modern ransomware often operated by the group we track as WaterRock. They precisely target high-income companies deploying APT-like techniques and exfiltrating confidential information from victims. It is a subscription-based malware that enables affiliates to use ready-made ransomware tools to launch attacks. This is also known as ransomware as a service. It uses double extortion. The group threatens to leak valuable enterprise data if victims do not pay. WaterRock affiliates for Nephilim ransomware are very particular about their targets, often choosing multinational companies with an estimated yearly revenue hovering around $1 billion. Meet Company X, a successful manufacturing enterprise and a typical target of WaterRock affiliates. Here is how Company X becomes a victim of WaterRock. The attack starts with vulnerability scanning. WaterRock's malicious actors are looking for unpatched or open vulnerabilities that will give them a way into Company X's network. This unpatched vulnerability will be exploited to gain initial access into the network via the exposed remote desktop protocol. More tools are downloaded to help the adversaries gain deeper access into the network and to prepare for malicious activities ahead. The adversaries also scan for more weak points in Company X's security. An elevation of privilege vulnerability gives them the administrator permissions. They also use tools already in the system to move laterally and expand. This technique is called living off the land. With access in an arsenal of tools, the affiliates move through Company X's entire environment, including peripheral and shared devices. Valuable data is identified and collected using PowerShell commands, then Cobalt Strike beacons are dropped on important files. The next step is communicating with the Cobalt Strike command and control servers. This way, the attackers can remotely control infected machines through Cobalt Strike. They exfiltrate data using file transfer protocols FTP or the Megasync tool. The adversaries try to be discreet and avoid detection so they stay in Company X's network, quietly working in the background for weeks. When all the identified valuable data has been exfiltrated, the next step is launching the Nephilim ransomware. Usually, the actors wait until a weekend to execute the ransomware. This helps delay the discovery. The ransom note is created in the file system, and then the encryption process starts. Files are checked against exclusion list first, then, if they are not on the list, they are encrypted. The original files were replaced with the encrypted versions. Company X's CEO gets back from her holiday to find the company's computers locked, data stolen, and a ransom note. Does she pay the ransom or risk all of Company X's sensitive data being leaked? How could Company X have prevented this? Impact techniques are the best indicators of a potential ransomware attack. Spotting them is key. The adversary stops services throughout the life cycle of their attack over several weeks. These actions can be prevented with permission restriction and network segmentation techniques. WaterRock Affiliates' use of older disclosed vulnerabilities once again shows the importance of timely software updates and patch management. There are also threat intelligence and virtual patching programs that can help with this issue. Organizations and security teams can also consider developing disaster recovery plans and proactive processes for data recovery. Correlated threat detection across all security layers is the most advanced prevention against ransomware. For more information about modern ransomware mitigation techniques, please visit our blog Modern Ransomware's Double Extortion Tactics and How to Protect Enterprises Against Them.